This is an intro to wave characteristics. In this presentation, we'll study longitudinal waves, transverse waves, frequency, and period. Every wave begins with a vibration. If a wave is produced by a vibration that is perpendicular to the direction the wave travels, we call it a transverse wave. If, if the wave is produced by a vibration that is parallel to the direction that the wave travels, we call it a longitudinal wave. In this animation, notice that the hand that produces this wave moves horizontally, and so does the wave. The wave direction is parallel to the direction of the vibration. The sound is a longitudinal wave. The animation on the right shows how a sound wave travels through air. When a guitar string is plucked, it vibrates in the same direction that the sound travels. This illustration shows that the vibration of a tuning fork causes the air around it to compress and expand. The hand that makes this wave moves up and down and the wave moves left to right. The vibrations and the direction that the wave travel are perpendicular like the first letter in the word transverse. Unlike longitudinal waves, transverse waves can be vertical, horizontal, or any angle in between. Look at the two waves shown. Can you identify the transverse wave? Can you identify the longitudinal wave? The frequency of a wave is the number of vibrations per second, or cycles per second, and its unit is hertz. The frequency of a wave is a measure how fre of how frequently a wave passes a given point. The frequency of a wave is equal to the frequency of its source. A high-pitched sound is a high-frequency sound. The faster a guitar string vibrates, the higher frequency of the sound it produces. To explain such differences, we picture two different sound waves. Here, the lower fork makes more complete vibrations per second. Therefore, its frequency is greater. It is evident that the one with the greater frequency has the higher pitch. The frequency of a wave is, is determined by the source of the wave not the medium, not the material through which the wave travels. If the source moves back and forth quickly, the wave will have a high frequency. Frequency is the number of cycles per second, and a cycle is a single vibration. You can see on the picture that we can measure a cycle from A to B, C to D, which is crest to crest, or E to F, which is the trough, or the low point, trough to trough. How many cycles do you see between the two green dots? 10 cycles pass a fixed point in a wave train in five seconds. What is the frequency of the wave? Use your frequency equation to solve this problem. A wave generator operating for four seconds produces the waves drawn below. Find the frequency of the wave. Two cycles pass a fixed point in a wave train in 10 seconds. What is the frequency? With sound, frequency is pitch, and with light, frequency is color. Period is the time for an entire wave cycle to pass a given point in a medium. It's determined by the source of the vibration, not the medium. The period equation is total time divided by the number of waves. If it takes 20 seconds for five waves to pass a point, what is the period? Period is the inverse of frequency and frequency is the inverse of period. This equation can be found on your reference table. All of these waves are traveling in the same medium. Which wave, A, B, C, or D, has the longest period?